right, big news in college football today as the Oklahoma Sooners lost their head coach, uh, Lincoln Riley, who is now going to be the new head coach uh, of the USC Trojans. That was a bit of a surprise. I, uh, earlier today, I was talking to someone and, you know, we had heard about all these, you know, Dave Aranda is going to be staying at Baylor. Uh, James Franklin was going to be staying at Penn State. Um, I, you know, and it's just like, who is going to fill the USC job, you know, because I long thought it was going to be James Franklin, and I thought he'd be a perfect fit there. Um, he, he decided, you know, signed an extension uh, with with Penn State, and then then Dave Aranda's name has been up, and I thought, oh well, maybe you know, guys like Bruce Feldman has said that he's a strong candidate there, and he ended up announcing that he's staying at, at Baylor, and you look at other guys like Matt Campbell and. Luke Fickle, and to me, this didn't seem like guys that that would fit very well at at USC, and you just kind of got to wondering who was going to take this job. And I know Lincoln Riley was mentioned as a potential U, uh, LSU coach, but I never really thought about him going to USC. And so earlier today, not too long ago, when it was announced that he had, had told his staff, told his players that he's going to USC, it, it was a, you know I wouldn't say a surprise. Um, but it definitely caught me off guard, but that doesn't take away. I think this is a tremendous hire for USC. I think they got one of the better coaches in college football and a guy that I think is going to do very well. This is huge, not only for USC, but this is huge for the Pac-12. For far too long, the Pac-12 has let their top talent leave, leave the West Coast and go into the Big 12, go into the, the Big 10 and the SEC and even the ACC, and have a lot of success. And, the, you know, this move could really change that. If you look at what Lincoln Riley has done and a lot of the top prospects, I mean, go look at the top Oklahoma commits that they have right now. A lot of those guys are from Southern California. Lincoln Riley did most of his damage getting most of his elite players from the West Coast. And... Look right now at, at the, some of the top Heisman candidates. There are guys from, you know, Bryce Young at Alabama is from California. Caleb Williams, who's Oklahoma's starting quarterback right now, is from California. You know, C.J. Stroud from California. There's lots and lots. I mean, Najee, uh, Najee Harris, who, who, you know, rookie with the Steelers this year with Alabama last year, is from Oakland. There's a ton of talent in the state of California that is leaving annually to go to the SEC, Big 12, and Big 10. And that's what's killed that conference more than anything. And USC is a top five job, has the potential to be one of the five best teams. It, USC has the potential to be a college football playoff contender year in and year out, but they've had such bad hires since Pete Carroll. I mean, Lane Kiffin, they hired him, but he was so young in his career that he just, you know, we saw he wasn't ready for it. He needed... He needed time to learn and grow, and we see what he is at now at, at Mississippi. He wasn't that way at USC, and then they hire Sark, and then they hire Clay Helton, and then they hold on to Clay Helton for so long. They have not had a good hire since Pete Carroll, and that changes with this Lincoln Riley hire. So not only do I think Lincoln Riley was a phenomenal coach, a hire for them, you take him, I mean, in essence, you took away a sitting SEC head coach. I know... Oklahoma's in the Big 12 right now, but they're going to the SEC, and he could have easily just waited it out, gone to the SEC in a couple of years, and who knows what they would have been. And I don't buy this whole, oh, he, he's afraid to go to the, the SEC. But Oklahoma's going to do well in the SEC. It might have taken them a little bit of time to get used to it, but they were going to ramp things up. You know, players want to play in the SEC. And Oklahoma's a brand name, a team that's played in the college football playoff, it seems like every year. And Lincoln Riley's a good recruiter and a good offensive mind. And I think for as much success as he's had at Oklahoma, he's going to even be better at USC because he's that much closer to these elite skill players. Oklahoma is an institution in college football. It's one of the best programs in college football. But they had to go to Texas, which is their next-door neighbor, to recruit. Now, USC kids want to go to USC. And you almost have to like shoo them away to get them out of there. And that's kind of what it's been lately. So now not only do you get a good recruiter, you get a good offensive mind, 
you're going to get some of the best quarterback candidates to stay at in California, go to USC, and that's going to raise that program up. It's only a matter of time. I think in two to three years, we're talking about USC in the national title mix, and that's because of Lincoln Riley. And because of that, like I said, this is going to be huge for the Pac-12 too because now that USC gets going, that's going to cause Oregon to kind of kick it into gear, even bigger gear than what they are. Then that's going to, you know, when we saw the uh, the Pac-12 at its height, with Harbaugh, with Chip Kelly, you know, with USC. They had all these good coaches. And then they left, and they never replaced them. I think this is going to be a big jump for the Trojans, and more importantly, for the SEC, uh, for the Pac-12. And we'll see what this does for the SEC and some of these other conferences that have just been going into, into California left and right and pulling the top players out. So kudos to the USC. Uh, tremendous home run hire. And I'll be anxious to see what uh, Oklahoma does to counter this.